Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a first for me even for the channel. It's uh, a, a guide video more than anything else and today's guide will be to where to find all of the red caches of high tier weapons in Dragon's Gambit. And it's because they are hard to find but they're easy to find when you know where and for the most part the missions allowed you time to go find them but there's a big enough map that you don't really want to spend too long looking for them so i will make it easier for everyone to find them because they're very good weapons and having very good weapons makes everything easier so let's jump into this let's get this started and i will see you at the first mission cache if you find the acquisition just walk up to it in order to pick it up here is the first one in the first mission. It is all the That's way out enough. here. Ready to start pickup operation. Ah, so where is it on the map? Is it, you know, just to the south of the base? Not too hard to find. In fact, I haven't even killed any enemies. I've already picked it up. And we get... Brilliant. Payload acquired. One. LBX solid tier five. There we go. One. That's not bad, because they're pretty good. We can make use of that on one of the mechs straight away. Okay, so here is the second one. It is... Uh, where am I? Oh, right under Salvage at the top. So, let's pick this up. There we go, there's my white marker. At the top of the map, spinning round. And... There we go. So, my Lance Mace is just coming to meet me now. So, it's in that little tent. Right next to the bulge on the map of the mountains. And we get four double heat sinks and three ER large laser tier five. Not bad at all. Not too bad. And yeah, let me carry on slaughtering some Steiners. Okay, so That's mission three. And operation. here it is. And AC20 tier five times Target two. Destroyed. So this one is way up at the top the corner the way up at the top of the city right up here and uh yeah pretty easy to get not too bad uh if you do it before the mission really starts gets going then it's not too bad okay so mission four and it's yeah it's over here to the left hand side of the map where we're all clustered let's see what we pick up from this one this one's fairly easy to get. It's nice and early in the mission. Acquired. And it's the tier 5 Gausses. I remember getting this one in the streams I did of this. If you find the acquisition, just walk up to it in order to pick it up. Okay, so mission 5. And this one's, again, fairly simple to get to right at the beginning of the mission. I am over towards the sort of southwestern corner of the map. Um, just next to this mountain right here so yeah let's see what we get from this one close enough. Ready to start pickup and it is Package acquired. three ultra order cannon five tier five that's it's very good they're gonna be useful on someone okay so here we are for mission six and we have what do we get from this one Cargo acquired. Uh, four heat sinks, six medium pulse, and six medium lasers. So I had this one before. I got this one in the campaign. This is up on the hill, basically over to the left. So um, fairly easy to find. You will be engaged whilst you're fighting this one. So just be careful but otherwise it's fairly easy to get and it's a good one with double heat sinks and quite a few weapon systems six in total that's close enough ready to start pickup operation okay so here is number seven it is down at the bottom behind this sort of ridge hill thing which you could if you had the um the skills to just snipe from it and get lots of kills that way um I don't really have the skills, so I'm just going to hide back here for the duration of this mission and let the timer click down, because that works. That just works. Uh, that is a uh, 3 LRM-10 with Artemis times 5. No, tier 5, sorry. Not 
there was five of them tier five, that'd be brilliant. But no, three tier five. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna chill back here, and nothing really happens. I'm just uh, wait for the timer to go down. Okay, so this one on mission eight is not too hard to find. It is right at the corner of the road, and it's actually at the third data recovery point. So there's that. And this is right here, so it's fairly easy to get. And it's on the mission, so you don't have to go very far from it. So that's always good. And what do we get from this one? Excellent find, Commander. Uh, SRM 6, recovery now. Artemis times 2, and SRM 4, Artemis times 2. Both level 5, or all level 5. So that's another one that I've got in my stream series, and I made good use of them. Okay, this one is uh, right at the beginning of the mission, right by the the base that you have to destroy. And yeah, it's it's nice and simple. So just on the well south side of it, south corner of it, you're basically looking for, although I've squished it now, a uh, little tent. Um, it's like a military style tent, green camo pattern and that's where they all are Package so what's acquired. that one four more double heat sinks five sorry three large pulse lasers and six small pulse lasers that's not bad that is pretty good everyone's still firing at the base that we've already destroyed but let's get on to the next base and destroy it okay so here is number 10 mission 10 is almost complete this is my dreaded mission um i I didn't do very, very well in this in my stream playthrough when I first come out. What do we get here? LRM 15, Artemis times 2. Not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, let me uh, hope that we can get this one done first time. Uh, every mission is done first time this time round. So maybe, maybe, maybe this is the time where I will shine. And this Mauler is amazing with machine guns. Okay, so mission number 11, and this one is way out in the, the well, the corner of the map, top corner, uh, top-ish corner, I wish there was a way to zoom in on the map, but yeah, you see we're all clustered, that's where it is, you're looking for this little green tent again, and what did we get? Uh, one ERPPC. And two PPCs, all tier five. Not bad, not bad. Some PPC vomit is coming up. Okay, so mission number 12. And this one's hit way off in the side. Ooh, turret. And it's way off top left-hand corner of the map. Uh, right at the end of the mission, so you have to make sure you don't blow up all the buildings first. Because otherwise then you don't get a chance to pick up all the Excellent goodies that are here. Order. So, what Beginning is it? Now. Uh, AC5 burst fire, burst fire times 2. AC2 burst fire times 3. And LBX solid times 1. All tier 5, obviously. So, yeah, that is a... That's a lot of ballistics that uh, you can pump out there. Okay, so here is the next one, mission 13. We're getting towards the end, and this one is way out in the middle of nowhere. Um, completely opposite side of the map to where you spawn. My suggestion on what to do here is skirt the top of the map all the way around. Don't engage the enemies until you have this, and then let the allies do a lot of the hard work Brilliant. in this one. Uh, what we got? Four large laser tier 5 and six small laser tier 5. That's pretty damn good, actually. That'll go in a few mechs. This one was a little bit That's tricky to see, simply to because it's uh, out in a forested area. And it's, well, hard to see through the trees, basically. The easy way to do that is to obviously shoot the trees, melt them, and set them on fire. You might piss off a few uh, tree huggers, but hey, who cares about those? We should really care about trees, let's just face it. But also go into um, drone mode, so third person, or th yeah, third person mode. And you can see it's a bit easier then. 
That's the better way of doing it. Now we don't have to burn trees. Our uh, loot we get is two LRM20s with Artemis. That's not too bad, actually. Okay, so this is the final one. And it's, we're dropping it right in the middle of a battlefield uh, or battleground mission, whatever one it is. But we have to destroy a lot of enemy targets, and I would advise just heading straight over to this top area. There's a little triangle of green. And yep, pick up this final, final hidden cache of awesome weapons or high tier weapons. And you will get two LBX solids, LBX 10 solids, and two more Gauss rifle tier 5. That's not bad. That is pretty good. And yes. We are done with the missions. We, well, we're done with the, this video. The, the missions are complete, all 15. High tier value goodies are retrieved. They're all mine now. Don't think I've lost any, which is impressive. Not all of them are in mechs in the moment, but the two tier five Gauss rifles we got earlier are in this Nightstar right now. So let us go see what we can do with them. And it is glorious. If I can get the awesome, I can get him in the head, generally. But I can't see him, so I will just take out this guy. Oh, I nearly got his head. Nearly. Nah, he's going to be a center torso kill. That's a shame, but yes, they are brutal. Yeah, it's just an amazing build, this night star. There he is. There's the headshot. We're getting shot a lot. Uh, missed, missed. Getting shot a lot. More. Take him down. And... Ooh, took off his arm. You've lost all five power as well. And I think that's it. Well, not for this mission, but that's it for this video. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, remember to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And thank you all for... Oh, no, we're not done. I thought the talking meant we were done. Uh, no, thank you all for watching. It's been a pleasure making this video and playing through the... the Dragon's Gambit DLC once again and I did a lot better this time round. Knowing the missions is half the challenge and definitely knew the missions this time round so it was more fun and we were able to find all the loot so thank you good night see you next time for some more mech destruction